Good morning, Leon. How are you doing today? You're so, so close to being done. Today we're going to look at subtract uh, across zeros. All right, so when you have zeros, you can't borrow from them, so you have to fix them first. All right, so let's just do one together. All right, so if you look, the first one is 400 minus 257. So you cannot take 7 away from 0, so you have to fix it. But when you go to the next place over, which is the tens place, there's no tens there. So you got to fix it. So you have to go to the hundreds place and borrow a group of hundreds. So mark out the 4 and put a 3. Pay close attention. I don't carry this back to the 1. I fix my tens. Now I have 10, hun ten uh, sets of 10. So now I can borrow from that. So now I mark out this 0 and I mark out this 10 and I make it a 9 and I make this one a 10. Okay? So I borrowed from the hundreds and I fixed my 10's place. That made it 10 groups of 10. Then I borrowed from the tens place and made it nine groups of ten and took the group of ten back to the ones. So now I have ten ones minus seven equals three. Nine tens minus five equals four. Three hundreds minus two hundreds equals one. Okay, let's do it again. I have... 900 minus 581. Can I take one away from zero? No, I cannot. Go to the group of tens and borrow. Ah, I can't. So I've got to go to my hundreds, make that 800, make this 10 groups of 10. Now I can borrow from it to fix my ones. So mark out your 10 groups of 10, make it a nine, and put 10 ones down. 10 ones minus 1 1 is 9 ones. 9 tens minus 8 tens is 1 10. 8 hundreds minus 5 hundreds is 3 hundreds. Okay, let's see. Let me do that on a bigger piece of paper. The next one is 600. Ugh, oh, can't get it up here. Goodness gracious. Alright, I've got 600 minus 364. Watch, one more time. Alright, so I can't take 4 away from 0. In my 1's there's a 4 and a 0, and I can't subtract it. So I need to borrow a group of 10's, but mm, I can't. So i got to go over here, borrow a group of 100's, now I have 500's, and I have 10 groups of 10. Now I can borrow from it because I fixed it. So I'm going to mark it out, make it 9 groups of 10. Make that 10 group 10 ones. 10 ones minus 4 ones is 9 tens minus 6 tens is 5 hundreds minus 3 hundreds is Alright, you do the last one. And tell me what you get. All right, do you have it yet? What answer did you get? Two hundred eight. Okay, Mama, if he's not understanding this, you're going to have to slow him down and show him again. All right, Leon, let's do uh, number five. It's not zeros all the way across, but it is borrowing all the way across. Almost all the way across. So can you take seven from one? No, you cannot. So you got to borrow a group of tens and make that three tens. And now we have 11 in the ones place. 11 ones minus seven ones is three minus eight. Can't do it. Got to borrow a group of hundreds. Make that two hundreds. Make that 13 tens. 13 tens minus 8 tens is 2 hundreds minus 0. We can do it. 5,000 minus 2,000 is 
What is your answer? I have 3,254. All right, do the next one by yourself. Do you have it? It is 5,007. If you don't have it, have Mama stop and help you. All right. I do not want you to do anything else on the front page. Are you listening? Don't do anything else on the front page. Go to the back. For the back, I want you to do all the even numbers. Two, four, six, eight, and ten. Do you know how to check subtraction problems? What you do is you add the answer plus the bottom number, which is called the subtrahend. Look, you have to add this one and your answer. And you should get this. Okay? This is called menu in, subtrahend, and the answer is called the difference. So you add the difference and the subtrahend, and you should get the menu in, which is the number on top. Okay? That's what they want you to write down is your answer plus the subtrahend, and then you should get the menu in. So you just do it backwards. All right. Uh, you do not have to do on the bottom. Mock it out. All right, so you are just borrowing and you're having to fix before you can borrow and you're having to borrow all the way across. So just work carefully. Work one column at a time, okay? And don't take hundreds over to the ones or don't take thousands over to the tens. You can't skip columns. That's the only thing you got to worry about. All right, that's all you got. And I will see you in just a minute.